Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their energies towards you? What are they thinking or feeling about you or this connection? And what are their intentions for the near future? Uh, as always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Cancer, Spirit Angels Guides. What guidance, what messages do you have for Cancer regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What are this person's energies towards Cancer? What are their energies towards Cancer at this time? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies? towards cancer wow ace of cups great card to start off with the empress wow and the five of swords okay i was wondering this is way too good um interesting i feel like someone still really cares about you cancer ace of cups the empress still finds you to be someone of value someone with a lot of worth someone special to me the empress there's not a lot of when you meet an empress energy you remember them because not everybody has those qualities the empress is love beauty abundance um so this could also um be interpreted as someone seeing you as a partner with a lot of potential a partner that they can grow with have abundance with we'll um clarify these to see what else we can get what's at the bottom of the deck nine of cups emotional satisfaction fulfillment being satisfied with what you've accomplished um i feel like someone would be very satisfied to win you or have you cancer so let's see what else we get can i get some more energies uh from this person this person that cancer is thinking about or connecting with what do we need to know What do we need to know about this person's wow married souls what is going on here <laughs> uh soulmate mutual feelings fate you mirror each other in this special connection this is from my seller energy oracle deck if you're interested in any of the decks that are um that i use including the ones that i've designed um they're linked in the description box what else what else we need to know about this person's energies See, Bountiful Harvest. This is kind of like my Empress card. Growth, abundance, patience. Plant seeds now. Watch them grow and enjoy the fruits of your labor. And then we have Balancing Act. You're juggling multiple things at once. Um, interesting. I feel like uh, with Balancing Act and Bountiful Harvest, I almost get like someone is um, wondering how to get this abundance. Maybe weighing their options. Maybe they're undecided about you know how to make this happen let me get a romance angel as well i just feel like doing that for my cancer collective what else do we need to know for cancer what else do we need to know spirit what guidance what messages do you have for cancer regarding this person's energies this connection separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so i feel like you and this person are not together right now bottom of the deck express your love so someone needs to express how they feel here hmm i feel like you're not with this person that's probably why the five of swords is here five of swords is all about kind of um a conflict a difficulty uh someone that wasn't playing fair and lost it's a card about failure the five of swords um it's also a card about like self-sabotage like someone that has sabotaged their own um selves you know because of their own actions so let's let's clarify these energies tell me about the ace of cups tell me about the ace of cups why is the ace of cups here the page of cups oh yeah someone's like smitten K 
Hey, Cancer, there you are. The Chariot. The Ace of Swords after that. And the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I think this person with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups, they want to tell you how they feel. Um, this could be an apology as well with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords, like a very honest apology or just them like expressing, you know, themselves in a very honest way. Um, yeah, this person's, uh, I mean, the feelings are strong here. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So very serious energy. The King of Pentacles tends to be a serious individual. They don't play games. They don't play around. Um, I think this person, this Queen of Wands and the Empress, once again, it's like there's an attraction there. Um, maybe they feel that you are a unique individual, someone that looks great, very attractive, has a lot going for them. Tell me about the Empress. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Two of Swords. Why is the Empress here? The Empress here. The Fool. Oh, Cancer. I feel like you, you're the one that will decide if you want to move forward with this person or not. Um, I also get the sense that this person is probably debating or unsure of how to take this risk to approach you or deal with, or, you know, with this page of Cups, Ace of Swords. Tell me more about the Empress. Tell me more about the Empress. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to want to talk things out, work things out, um, give you something. And, and I feel like what they're giving you is some sort of emotional message or like a let's talk, let's, let's talk things out, let's clear things up, um, let's start over the fool. I only say that because separation is over there. I don't feel that that is going to resonate with all of you. I feel like some of you were never in a full commitment with this person or a, a long-term relationship with this person. Um, so I wonder too if this separation card is that one of you is recently separated and free to approach the other person. Um, let's see what this Five of Swords is about. Why is the Five of Swords here? Five of Swords. The Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Five of Swords. This Five of Swords, I feel like someone is still, yeah, there's the Ace of Wands. It's like even though there was conflict, someone still is thinking about the future, a new beginning, a new start. And there's still love here with the Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. Emotions are strong. Tell me about the uh, Five of Swords, please. Why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, Judgment. I feel like someone wants a second chance, Cancer. And there's lo the Lovers at the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy, just in case you wanted some extra confirmation about how someone feels. Um, this could be a soulmate or a past life connection um, that is coming in. But I feel like there's already some sort of a history between you and this person. I just don't think it's a, you know, I just don't think it was like this really long term relationship. That's just what I feel. Um, I'm also getting like silence. So I don't know if you are busy doing your own thing, uh, worried about yourself at this time, focused on yourself, and kind of busy working or busy um, doing your own thing. And so I, I get that there's almost like, um, I'm picturing like fog in between you and this person. It's really weird. Typically, sometimes I get like images like, you know, someone at a distance, but for you, I almost feel like there's like like a curtain of fog that someone has like purposely pulled down. And it's like, if I don't look in that direction, then I don't have to think about that person. So maybe you and this person have tried to forget about each other. Maybe you have tried to kept busy so that you don't think about this person. Um, I don't think that that's the same for them. I think if they're trying to not think about you, they're failing miserably. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Can I get some more insight into this person's energies towards cancer? 
I feel like if this person does want a second chance, Cancer, if this person does want to return or talk things out, I think that's why the Two of Swords is here with the Empress. Because I feel like you are going to be evaluating or making the decision to move forward. It's like it's up to you. What else? What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Cancer Spirit? What do we need to know? about this person's energies towards cancer first half of may i made a mistake okay yeah so there's regrets here um and then at night i think of you yeah if they're trying to forget you it's it, again it's not it's not working out <laughs> Um, if they're trying not to think about you, it's a lie. I mean, it's, I mean, it's 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 maybe a half-assed attempt. We get some more insight into this person's energies towards cancer. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards cancer? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Exactly. Yeah. Um. At night, I think of you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Bottom of the deck, I want to feel that way again. I think this is really the main energy here. It's that someone wants to try again, wants to feel the way they felt before, still has feelings, even though time has passed, etc., etc. Bottom of the deck after that, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah, I feel like you and this person, you might have separated a long time ago. This might have been like a separation that happened way back. Okay, can I get one more? And then we'll move on to this person's intentions for the future. One more energy for this person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with. Spirit. What do we need to know? And then I will be doing an extended for your sign. We're going to be looking at... What can you expect in terms of this connection for the near future? So we know about their intentions for the near future, but where is all of this headed for you and this person? And then also what's challenging or blocking this connection and what advice does spirit have for moving forward? These two. Okay. Please just wait for me. Please wait for me just a little bit longer. Okay. I was like, wait a second. Am I even reading that right? And then what's this? You have taught me so much. Yeah, I feel like you, they think of you as this Empress energy. I think you are someone that is different. There's something different about you, Cancer. Something that they still think about. Yeah, look at this. I wish I could go back in time. Exactly. That's exactly it. It's like this person wishes they could have a do-over. Um, and they constantly think about it. I mean, constantly thinking about this. But again, I, I feel that silence, you know, it's, it's, it's like the fog can't allow you to see this. You know, there's like a curtain, like I said, like a, it's like a curtain that you can't see through. Um, what are this person's energies? Not energies, intentions. What are their intentions towards cancer, towards this connection? for the near future. What's this? Wow, the tower, okay. What are their intentions, Spirit? What are their intentions for the near future when it comes to cancer or this connection with cancer? What are their intentions for the near future? What are this person's intentions for the near future? Let's see. Strength, Leo energy, King of Swords, and the Empress again. Yeah, they want to talk to you. I think that they want to be open or honest with you about something. Five of Pentacles, maybe that they miss you. Maybe that there is a loss that they haven't been able to fill or some sort of, you know, void that they haven't been able to fill. I think this Five of Pentacles is also that energy of someone being on the outside looking in or wanting to come back in, you know? Oh, what was I going to put that down? I'm going to clarify. Tell me about strength. Strength. 
strength. This is a card about using different approach to get control of a situation or to bring something under control. Courage as well, inner strength. Can I get some insight, please? Why is strength here? The moon, Pisces energy. Okay. Tell me about strength. Why is, I think my deck really wants to talk. Why is strength here? The high priestess. So remember what I was talking about, that silence? That's these two energies. Very quiet energy. Um, the high priestess is all about secrets, mysteries. Um, there's a secret knowledge that you need to use your intuition to get. It's not spoken to you. It's not something you can access. And then the moon is all about what's hidden underneath the surface. Um, it's about doubt, confusion, your, your fears. And the thing is, like, I feel like this person is trying to find courage to overcome these um these buried feelings it's almost like they want to maybe bring these feelings to the surface or actually speak on these feelings um because i don't think they have yet can i get one more for strength why is strength here four of swords yeah again another card with no communication no action. This is someone that's literally laying down and reflecting healing. Um, and they're thinking about what they're going to do next. But for now, they're resting. So all these energies together, I think of someone who is just very quiet or has been quiet. And maybe they need strength or courage to turn that around. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, Ace of Cups. This is all about how they feel, how they feel about you. That's why the King of Swords is here. Because I think this is their main intention is like being a King of Swords energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Tell me about the King of Swords. The King of Swords, all they care about is the facts. They care about, um, you know, the truth. Communicating clearly. Tell me about the King of Swords. King of Swords tends to be a little bit cold though, which is, yeah, Knight of Wands. It's not, tip, I, I don't see your person as someone that's cold and detached and disconnected. And, you know, maybe that's how they appear, but they kept showing up, you know, as cups energy. So I think that this is just like an armor that they put on. And especially now that I see the Knight of Wands here, the Knight of Wands is the go-getter, impulsive, bold, fearless. You know, the Knight of Wands is like, you know, stop talking. I'm just going to do it. Tell me about the King of Swords. Very passionate, very motivated, the Knight of Wands. Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? The Page of Wands. Oh, yeah. This is like them. I think this is them talking about their motivation, their passion, their interest in you, in this connection, the action they want to take towards you. Tell me about the King of Swords. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. Yeah, I, you know, when I see all of these three together, I think of someone that's very passionate, lustful, tempted. I wanted to say addicted, but I stopped myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the energy that I'm feeling here and it's like they want to talk about this desire that they have for you or this connection i want to feel that way again yes that passionate you know it's like they want to feel alive again bottom of the deck is the tower i knew this tower was going to come up i was just waiting for it because it kind of fell out while i was shuffling so or was left behind in the deck but yeah in cancer you've gotten this uh message recently in my recent readings for your sign that there's something unexpected something that you're not expecting is going to be happening with a particular person um so if this resonates feel free to look at your playlist because there's definitely this energy of someone that's missing you wanting to talk and i for some reason you're not expecting it or you're not expecting to hear exactly what they're going to say I think what might surprise you in this instance is the depth of their emotions or feelings or how far they take this conversation. Tell me about the Empress. 
why is the Empress here? For Cancer, why is the Empress here? The Six of Wands. Success, victory with their Empress. Tell me about the Empress. What do we need to know about this Empress energy? Ace of Cups again. I mean, I could just stop it right there, but I'm going to get one more. Why is the Empress here, Spirit? Why is the Empress here? Oh, I got two. Five of Cups. Yeah. And the Fool. Someone is missing you, sad with the Five of Cups, regretful. Um, they think of the past with regret, with sadness. Um, and the fool, you know, a new beginning, a new start, a risk that they want to take um, to have, you know, this Ace of Cups with you, with the Empress, with the person that they haven't been able to let go. That's really what this reading is about. So let me know if that resonates for you in the comments, Cancer. Don't forget to check out the extended if you want to know what you can expect in the near future for you and this person in terms of your connection and a little bit more insight into the challenges or obstacles that could exist here. I think the challenge or obstacle in this instance is that someone has not been honest or open with the feelings that they clearly are feeling. <laughs> so I wanna look at that a little bit more. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more videos from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.